I'm here, the ATEM stand here at NAB 2014. I've got Mike with me. Hi, Mike. Hello, John. How are you today? Yeah, very good. Well, it's a, a busy stand you've got here this year. Busy and plan. yeah, tell us a little bit about what you're talking about this year at NAB. Well, this year, the big momentum is about what's happening in, with both HEVC, high efficiency video coding, yep. where ATEM's a world leader, and also with what we're seeing on first generation 4K, which is hitting the file market and it's just getting ready for live. It's a very exciting time. Now we've got a, uh, an HEBC demo behind us here. Yep. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, we're producing a 4K single tile, which means it's all one stitched image as opposed to four discrete images at 30 frame 10 bit. Now 10 bit reduces color banding in signals. It's very key to file transcode for movie distribution where we're going to start seeing uh, the first releases of that very shortly. We're very pleased to announce that Deluxe has selected a TAM and is using our products for file transcode for a lot of high value movie content that will make its way to the over the top delivery platforms very soon. Brilliant, right, we've got lots going on this stand, so we'll move over to another yeah, area and have a look at that. I want to show you some really neat video stitching applications, 360 degree live sphere that are very, very fun, very exciting. Let's go and have a look. All right. Well, by the magic of television, here we are at another area of your stand. Uh, this looks fascinating, tell us what we've got here. Yeah, what we have here is we've, um, through our, part, our good friends at, at, at Color, we've created a new service offering called LiveSphere, which sews together the images from six GoPro, GoPro cameras, yeah inside of a, of a 4K reference frame that they then stitch in a sphere around you to create a virtual 360 environment for live and file content for second screen. It's, it's actually, when you see what happens with this, could be mounted on a helmet or on a ball on a ceiling. You can use it in a lot of different applications. But what it allows you to do is to, is to create a you are there experience at a concert, or in a, in a venue, an arena, where you can see different perspectives on being actually right in the game, right in the action. So it's really very exciting use of high performance video encoding, along with some very innovative video stitching to create a, a very exciting new product. And one of the key things on this you mentioned is that it's live as well. Yeah, it, it, we can do both file based and live, so that we can do live event, you could see a 360 dunk in basketball with somebody wearing a helmet or see somebody on a bobsled racing down the track and being able to look over your shoulder and see everything go by. So a lot of great ways for folks to visualize the real experience. You could see this in a race car where you could be looking at the instruments, you could be looking at the dashboard, you could be looking alongside the cars riding alongside you. So you can really create a very visual, visceral experience. It's fascinating. Now we're going to pop to another area of the stand where you've been doing some remarkable stuff with interlaced footage and HEVC. Yep. So we'll pop over and have a look at that. Okay, let's go look. Let's go. Right, Mike, we're in a different area of okay. your stand, and you're doing something that no one else has been able to do. Tell us a bit about this. Right. Yeah, when the HEVC standard originally came out, it was, it was essentially designed for progressive content, yep. which is fine for small screen applications because yep. they're all progressive display devices. Yep. The problem is that 70% of the world's library and most live production is still done with interlace. Yep. So it was leaving a lot of people out of HEVC that yep. could benefit from that 40 or 50% encoding efficiency we're going to get that we could use more bandwidth. So what we're doing here is we're demonstrating the use of HEVC at 1080 interlace, 30 frame, four and a half megabit, where you can see that the, the quality improvements we get, this is again a 35 or 40% yep. bandwidth savings over the yep. way we would do it in MPEG-4. So it's showing that HEVC isn't just for new content, the new 4K that's coming out, but it can be used everywhere up and down the, the, the broadcast markets for standard def and high def. Brilliant, Mike, that's amazing. Now, if people want to find out some more information about all your products and your solutions, is there a website they can go to? Well, that's a fine question, John. I'm glad you asked. It's www.ateme.com, www.atem.com. Mike, thank you very much for Bye showing way. us around. That's great. If you want to find out more, go and have a look at their website. The link is on screen now, and you'll find everything you need to know about ATEM. Of course, uh, what we've been doing here at NAB 2014 is on our website, and that's broadcastshow.com.
yeah, everyone's been yeah. just like, go on, hands on, go get the cameras out yeah. there. It's fantastic. Yeah. They're all really open, let you just touch everything and get to use it. And 